Shore by sea. Um, and then I'm guessing a shuttle bus to somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, but I'm going to stay this tent and I'm really excited. You know what as well? It's such an incredible thing because like loads of people from all different parts of the country are coming together but it means like different like friendship groups of mine are coming together so like um, my friends from church Michael and Lindsay are going to be there and, and then like my friends from up north are going to be there and then my friends from London are going to be there and um, my friends in Croydon and like so just like everybody together in one place and like because David's tent is known for being like a really abandoned, spontaneous, worship-filled place, you get like-minded Christians who are there who just want to get completely abandoned to God. It's 72 hours of constant worship. Kristen said it starts at 2 o'clock, um, so um, we'll be worshipping around the clock. And then, so there's like people from different churches, which I think is incredible. They've got all different churches from the UK to come. Um, and different worship bands to come and worship around the clock and then they've got like more known artists like Bethel um, Lucy Grimble who I absolutely love um, I'm not good with names but you, you get my drift like other worship um, bands and stuff so um, yeah it's going to be really really good We're at David's tent. Oh my gosh, we are. We're about to embark on 72 hours of non stop worship. And 72 it's about to start hours. In T minus three minutes. I Bands are ready. We are ready. You could go my hand, you should check your hair as well. Oh, that's alright. Thank you for serving. It was so lovely. Thank you. Safety first. Did you want to come out No, you're here. He's excited! <laughs> Get it, the lads! <laughs> Christina. And just what's that on your face? And just sparkling for Jesus. Why? The glory sparkle. <laughs> the glory of the Lord. Hold on a second. Hannah, you've got it too. Looking fantastic. This is an anointed group, that's why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind? You're so tired. Hi Hannah. How's your time at David's tent going? You've been how I reckon I reckon you're the one that's been there the longest worshipping. Yeah. Yeah, I've been in the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's the only. Hey, welcome to the. <laughs> welcome to Tell Super Christian. Here we are. Stop it. 
We're just under here because it's shaded because it's so hot. I've been upgraded. <laughs> when are we gonna go? Um, for half five, see Lucy Grimble. Oh yeah! The late night worshippers. This is Hannah's second night. No. Oh no, Denzel's first. Denzel stayed up all night. Do you, Hannah, do you think we're going to be able to stay up all night? I think we'll be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been so incredible so far. I think it's like 12 o'clock at night. And yeah, because just. Michael. Hello there, sir. Hello. <laughs> hey, Andrew. How are you enjoying the David's tent? I am a lot, very much so. Yeah? What are you eating there, mate? Was, uh, Some delicious olives. Olives and a sausage. Here's the chef of the year. Luke, chef, master chef. Look at him there, grabbing his tan on and everything, mate. James, tell me about your experiences so far this weekend. My experiences have been good. Right, do you want to give anything else or are you just going to make my vlog really bad? <laughs> <laughs> it's been an emotional rollercoaster. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> but the Lord loves you. Enter the gates of praise. <laughs> Here I am. Entering the gate of praise. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a celeb and I just I'm want to record you. Yeah. <laughs> Every time the Lord comes and he delivers generational depression, panic attacks, he delivers uh, oppression of the mind. And you know what else he delivers? He, he keeps saying, oh, what I want is to deliver the fear of losing your mind. Some of you have, have, have mental illness in your family and there's actually a deep fear that you're going to lose your mind. And the Father wants to deliver you. And I ask the Lord, I'm like, Lord, what is this? Everywhere we go, you're delivering and you're freeing your kids. I thought it you freed my body. And he's like, no, Melissa, the testimony is that you sang your way out of the oppression of the mind. In the middle of suffering and pain and heartache and disappointment. In the middle of seasons where you're like, Lord, seriously. I really need you to come through. And when we in those moments rise up, you see, I'm learning in, in all of this. I'm learning that Jesus doesn't actually come and take over me. He rises up from the inside of me. I stop asking, Lord, take over. I, I stop praying that. Holy Spirit, take over. Grace, take over. And then I said, Jesus, rise up from the inside of me. Heart is in this room. There are people 
panic attacks, the fear of losing their mind. And you come near to the brokenhearted. And you come near to us, God, and you woo us into your heart. And what we're asking for right now, Father, is the courage to sing this song with you. Father, we're asking that you would stand up on the inside of us. And that you would sing the song that we cannot sing. Thank you.